How's it going, everybody? C Rad TV back here in our video. So it's been a couple days, but we got ourselves another die cast unboxing right here. Big box right here. Interesting kind of wrapping to say the least for sure. But yeah, we shouldn't actually really need any scissors for this one. We can just rip it open and find out what it is. Let's go ahead and do that. See what we got here. Looks like we got ourselves something in the shoe box here. What could possibly be in the shoe box? But now I think we're gonna have to go to the screwdriver and open her up. See what's in the shoe box. What could it be? There's one. Okay, where am I going wrong with this? Yeah, here we go. So, they ain't shoes, that's for sure. Some stuff and paperwork in here. Anyway, let's throw some of this out. And we got a lot of garbage in here. Oh yeah. Right here, though, in the box is our main prize. Our main valuable in here, all wrapped in bubble wrap. Yep. Let's get that bubble wrap off. And here we are. What a beautiful sight this is. So it's a Jeff Gordon Daytona 500 win one. Which one? Let's find out. Oh, that's interesting. Usually the cloth's on the other way. But it's on this way, so oh well. But yeah, let's take it out. And here we are. So this car here. This is the Jeff Gordon's 1997 Daytona 500 wing car. So of course, the 1997 Daytona 500, it was Jeff Gordon's first win in the Daytona 500, the Great American Race. And, of course, it was also the race that both Jeff Gordon, Terry Labonte, and Ricky Craven all finished 1-2-3, giving Henrik a 1-2-3 finish for Henrik Motorsports. And, of course, um, when Jeff was in victory lane, he was on the phone with Rick Henrik since Rick was not at the race. Since I believe at the time he was battling leukemia at the time. But, so, yeah. But, yeah, still a great moment there for the sport, for Henrik Motorsports at a young time. And, of course, that win would have catapult Jeff Gordon's run that year to his second career championship. But, yeah, still, not only Jeff Gordon's first Daytona 500 win, but it was also a big moment for Henrik Motorsports, but a 1-2-3 finish. That was also, also the race where Dale Sr. flipped in the 500, and then Dale Sr. would get out of the car, go in the ambulance, and then he'd come back out of the ambulance, get back in the car, and he'd finish the race with the car that was completely torn to shit and looked like it was right for the scrapyard. But yeah, still, nice looking car. And since it's a race one diecast, that car is for sure going up on the wall in the diecast case. But yeah, another diecast to add to the collection. Quite a beautiful sight to behold. So yeah, in terms of Jeff Gorn race one diecast, that's now 11 out of the 93. So yeah, it's the question slowly coming along now. But yeah. Anyway, that's all I gotta say. Hope everyone has a great day, and yeah, another unboxing the bag. Peace, NASCAR Heavyweight Champ out.